Hello and welcome to Country Sports TV. Not quite sure how much I can say. Um, I've been told because of legal reasons it's not advisable to report the story. But I feel that shooting community needs to understand what's going on. There seems to be a little problem with BASC. Last Thursday, um, the police were called after an altercation between staff. I haven't got any more information than that. Uh, it was reported in the Daily Post, a uh, North Wales local paper, so I can report that. You know, it's been in the papers, so I can report it. It's also been reported by Countryman's Weekly on their Twitter feed that Alan Jarrett, the chairman of the Bass Council, has resigned. I'm told through my sources within Basque that two members of the council resigned with him in support. Why he resigned, don't know. Was he pushed or did he jump? Don't know. There's so many don't knows. It is just incredible. And it is, nobody is saying a word. It is very, very quiet. Uh, I've even talked to reporter friends of mine uh, that I've known for oh, 30 years now since I started writing on country sports and reporting on country matters. They've been told not to say a word. Um, <laughs> it's just incredible how they manage to suppress a story. Uh, it also turns out that uh, after the police were called and it was resolved peacefully, I'm told, that four members of Basque staff were suspended. Yes, that's right. Four members of the Basque staff at the mill have been suspended. What for? Don't know. Why? Don't know. How long? Don't know. There is supposed to be an internal review and for legal reasons they've told me that I can't say any more. <laughs> it seems that there's sort of a, a power struggle going on. Now this is my comment and my take on the situation. There seems to be a power struggle going on. I don't know um, who's in charge. I don't know what the struggle's over. But it's shooting that's the important thing. I have not been a Basque member since I found out what John Swift was up to. John's, I went to a meeting of the Deer Initiative and John Swift spoke and he was not defending our corner one iota on lead shot. He was very cagey, very political in the statements he made, but when you read through the lines, he was heading for a lead man. And after his emails came out, as chairman of the Lead Ammunition Group, that proved my feeling that we were heading for a lead ban. It looks like we've staved that off. After the report in the Independent that a government um, leak insider said the government aren't going to do anything. So it looks as if that's on hold, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Um, as they say, watch this space, keep vigilant. What can we do as shooters? Just keep asking questions. You know, what's happened? What's going on? Uh, why did Alan Jarrett resign? Uh, who's the new chairman? Um, the election for the council is coming up. So Basque members, you need to ask your uh, representatives or uh, proposed elected representatives where they stand on the issues. Um, and it's going to be more important than ever. It's shooting that matters. doesn't matter if you're a wildfowler, 
or if you're a game shooter or if you only work gun dogs. What matters is shooting. And shooting has to continue in this country. The industry that I'm in, that I've done since I was 15 years old. I left school and went straight into a gun shop. I worked for Mr. Crudgington in Bath for 17 years. I worked for George Gibbs in Bristol. I had a couple of years out of the trade. I had six years as a civil servant. And there's some stories to be told there. But then I got back in the trade. I worked for Roxton's in Sirencester. And then I went self-employed and I've been self-employed ever since. I got enough work to keep me going. Um, and I'm even turning work down. So the, the gun trade is healthy. There is a little bit of economic uh, quiet out there. New guns aren't being sold as they used to. But we need to get more people into shooting. We need to uh, work on youngsters. And Basque was good at this. Getting youngsters involved. I think Basque should not be quite as political and not trying to manipulate the situation like they did under John Swift. I think Basque should be more proactive and campaigning for what they do best, which is promoting shooting and helping kids. The Young Shot Scheme has been a tremendous success. I'm not anti-Basque before anybody says, oh, here's Basque you know again here he goes I am not anti-Basque I only had a um, spat with Basque on one subject and that was lead shot without lead the shooting industry is dead lead is the best material to use steel is not as good as lead yes you may be able to use it and wild fellas have to use it but that doesn't make it as good as lead. So it's important that we keep lead. It's important that Basque realise that the science isn't there for a change. It hasn't been proven. And that Basque should come out and say, we are now fighting for lead. And that there should be no wider lead ban. It's what I've advocated for the last, oh, 20 years. But it's up to you. Ask members, please be vigilant. Sorry I can't be there. I resigned in 2010 and didn't renew my membership because of what John Swift was up to. Uh, let's hope, let's pray that after the dust settles, that shooting is better off under Basque when they've sorted their problems out. Thanks for Dickin. This is Country Sports TV. Uh, a lot of the information I've got is on my Facebook page, Country Sports TV. And I do some more videos uh, and explain what's going on when I can. But shoot straight and shoot safe. Thank you.